Now, this is the example from today's class. The lengths of a side of a triangle are four, five, and six. Let's sketch what a triangle might look like. So four, five, six. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you had a ruler, maybe you make it a bit neater. It's not a right angle triangle. I'll comment on this. Uh, the largest angle, that would be the one across from six is theta, it says. Find the value of cosine theta as a fraction. Okay, in a non-right angle triangle, where we have three sides and we're interested in, in an angle, we use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule says that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of the angle a. The important thing here, I suppose, is theta and 6 are across from each other. So that's what's happening here as well. I'd like to rewrite this formula before I sub things in. I could sub the numbers in straight away in for a, b, and c. I suppose the important one is that 6 is going to be our a in this formula. I'm going to rewrite the formula though first to imagine what cos a would look like. So if I'm looking at where cos a is here at the moment, I'm imagining if I subtract b squared, subtract c squared from both sides, the left hand side would look like this. On this side we have the cosine a, and if I divide both sides by the negative 2bc, that, that's a, the formula, if you wish, for cosine a. And now I'm going to sub the numbers that we have into this. So cos a is equal to 6 squared minus 4 squared minus 5 squared all over negative 2 times 4 times 5. And I take out the calculator and put that into it. And if I do, I see I get 1 over 8 as the answer. And the, the second question is to show what sine, sine theta is. Now, in these ratios, in SOCAT TOA, if you know what cosine A is, you should be able to work out what sine A is. I'm going to imagine a different triangle. I'm going to imagine a right angle triangle with an angle A. Um, I suppose I should change this actually. A in this question was theta actually, wasn't it? I've said what theta is. Um, so I'm going to call one of the angles in this theta. And if this is theta, now this is not drawn to scale, but if that's theta, cos, which is adjacent over hypotenuse is one over eight. And we're asked to find what the sine ratio is. So we could use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the other side. So eight squared, the square on this side is 64. The square on this side, one squared is one. The square on this side would be 64 minus one, which would be 63. So this side here, the missing side would be the square root of 63 using Pythagoras' theorem. The square root of 63 is, 63 is nine sevens. The square root of nine is three. So I could write this as three times the square root of seven. So if I put, if I put square root of 63 into the calculator, that's what it would tell me. Uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of the angle theta, the ratio for this question is three root seven over the hypotenuse, which is over eight. So I've worked out the sine ratio.